my biggest worry because he would always ask me if he can go back to school. Now if I ask him, he said, no, I'm fine because I have my friends at basketball, who, which, who he sees every you know, three days a week. And when they're together, they finish practice. You cannot get them to go home because they, they just want to be together, even if it's just to eat with each other, you know? Um, at the same time, I love the fact that uh, they do devotion. You know, the Bible Bible study with their coaches, I mean, even the moms, you know, we're, we're so close and we just pray for each other. Um, I, I feel so that's the biggest advantage to have, you know, that support group. Because when you're in traditional, everybody's doing their own thing. At the same time, some of the kids have different groups. It's never really united. So with this, I feel as though like whenever we have a gathering, the kids are just all getting along. Um, funny thing is, my, my husband, he's a basketball player, so he would ask um, our sons, hey, do you have any like uh, bad kids in your team? And my sons couldn't say. They couldn't say an answer because there was none. And that's the honest truth. Everyone is so respectful sometimes. I mean, no offense, I don't feel like I'm that old, but they will bless me. And I'm like, wow, my, my parents taught me that, you know? And it's not normal anymore. And so when I see other children do that, I'm like, yes, we still have hope for the, the youth, you know? Awesome, thank you guys so much. And we're gonna be having, as much as we would like to extend and engage you guys more and ask more of your questions. Uh, due to lack of time, we're gonna have to keep moving forward. So guys, once again, can we appreciate these wonderful moms who gave their inside perspective. Thank you so much, guys.